Good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Today, we're continuing our journey through the book of Mark, and we're in chapter 13. I'm going to be reading verses 3 through 8 today. Uh, this whole chapter, though, you could do in one setting, but it'd be a lot of stuff, because Jesus is basically talking about future events that are coming in the end times and preparing for the end times. So, um, Jesus is talking here. The last time we we met, he was talking, the disciples were walking along, they were like, oh man, look at that awesome temple. And Jesus said, you know what, that's all gonna, it's gonna crumble. And then sure enough, AD 70, it crumbled. Now Jesus is gonna give some, uh, a little more details, but some people think that these things will happen and then, um, then um, his second coming will happen, r like right after that. No, Jesus is saying, this is the beginning of the birth pains, okay? I've, ha I've had, uh, well, my wife and myself have had five children. So when we um, go to the hospital, you know, it's the, st the start of birth pains. And there was one time we were, um, sh she was pregnant, and we had some friends over, and um, sh she started having contractions. And um, there was a TV show on at that time, and uh, it was back when you couldn't record TV, really, and it was celebrity boxing. And um, I forget who it was on. Um, Tanya Harding was one of them, okay? And then there were some others um, on there. And I was like, oh, let's just wait till to go to the hospital till after, you know, this celebrity boxing is over and stuff. And um, we ended up making it in plenty of time and stuff, but it's always been a joke that... Um, I had to, you know, watch celebrity boxing um, before we went uh, to the delivery area. Uh, so Jesus is talking here. And let me read verses 3 through 8. And keep in mind, these are things that are coming. It's the beginning of the birth pains. It's not, you know, not going into labor right now. And so for some of our children, it's it was a long time of uh, labor. I think Elliot was, was quite a while. You know, we went to the hospital... Uh, one night and then it was like noon the next day he was born so it was a lot of waiting around and, and stuff like that it wasn't like immediately like oh you're having contractions it's you know uh, you're gonna have a baby in five seconds no it's not like that at all so let me read verses 3 through 8 of chapter 13 of mark if you have your bibles like i do as jesus was sitting at the mount of olives opposite the temple Peter, James, and John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen, and what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out, that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming, I am he, and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of war, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be an earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of the birth pains. Okay, these are the beginning of the birth pains. You're thinking to yourself, this stuff isn't happening today, so we got plenty of time. No, let's talk about it. Okay, so uh, in verse five, he said, Jesus said, said to them, "Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming I am He, and will deceive many." Okay, right there, there are so many cults and so many um, false religions now um, claiming to be Christian, uh, you know, cults claiming to be Christian. But when you start to look at it, you're like, oh, this isn't what Jesus taught at all. Okay, so um, th those different things, false religions and cults specifically that have come around are um, something which verse five is talking about. Many, many things are going to come you know, claiming to be part of Jesus, but it's not, okay? Then verse 6, um, I'm sorry, verse 7. When you hear of wars and rumors of war, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come, okay? Again, he's saying there's going to be wars and rumors of war, but the end is still not, not here yet, okay? So you're thinking to yourself, yeah, we hear rumors of war. You know what? Right now, you... Um, we're so caught up in the COVID-19 and the, the Black Lives Matter, and it's all about, you know, what's happening in the United States, that I don't know if you knew this or not, but 
in the past few days, China and India were in a border conflict. They're, apparently, their border is not well defined. And they were in a border conflict, and a bunch of um, the India people of India um, are dead now. Okay, so that's not going to make um, the people of India too happy. And so there's already a conflict happening uh, with that. And it's it goes on with Korea and everything else. Korea and South Korea, I mean, they're uh, itching to fight. Well, Korea is. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, these rumors of war have go been going on a long time. All right. And um, it, but Jesus says that's not the end. Okay, so don't think because uh, there's a World War Three starts that it's, uh, you know, he's coming right away. All right, verse 8. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. It covers the same thing. You know, they're all fighting against each other. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of the birth pains. The beginning of the birth pains. Earthquakes, I'm just going to mention one. Haiti. Haiti wiped out a whole lot of people. Okay, it was a simple earthquake, but because of the way they uh, had shoddy building in Haiti, um, it killed a lot of people. I went down there, and it was a year or two after the earthquake. And as I was uh, riding down with the missionary, uh, Patrick, I said, wow, it's, it, you know, it, it's like, it, it, it's a mess down there. Okay, and he said, there's so many people dead that in the median um, between the streets, you know, you had the median, they were burying people there. So there's dead bodies in the median that they buried because they were running out of room um, and so many people died um, with that. So uh, earthquakes and famines. You go to, to um, Africa today, much famine is going on. And you know, it's not necessarily because of um, famines because uh, of there's a drought or stuff. There, There is that also. But some of the famines are caused by military action um, and this went all the way back to the bible times when they would do that they would have a famine and it was because the enemy would come and destroy all their crops or make it impossible for them to get crops so you go to certain places um say south sudan um, they might not have a famine there but they're uh, so um in, in such a war zone that they can't grow crops and because they'll get stolen and um if they have a hard time getting who wants to deliver your produce in a truck and, and have it robbed and hijacked? Okay, so um, anyway, that's uh, what Jesus is talking about there. So he said, but the last sentence, these are the beginning of the birth pains. The thing is, Jesus is coming soon. We don't know when, and if someone tells you they know when, uh, they're sadly deceived. Okay, but Jesus is coming soon, and this the stuff Jesus mentioned is said, is the start of those birth pains okay just like when when you have a baby you start having contractions very rarely um, it, it, you know it, five minutes later you have a baby it, it takes a while so anyway that's my encouragement for today Jesus is coming um, but I don't know when and you don't know when so be prepared Lord's blessing to you we'll see you tomorrow and I'm just a regular dude walking the word see you then